What up, fight fans? So December 13th, we have Amir Khan versus Devin Alexander taking place live on Showtime and is a part of a triple header. In essence, this is really the auditioning for uh, Floyd Mayweather's next opponent in May. It's no secret that Amir Khan has been trying his very best to get a fight with Floyd Mayweather. He was supposed to fight Devin Alexander last year around this same time. Uh, the fight was scrapped. Uh, I guess him thinking that he was going to already be lined up to fight uh, Floyd Mayweather, but he didn't, he didn't uh, win the sweepstakes back then. He's taking the fight that he should have taken last year. Amir Khan, more so than, than uh, most fighters in boxing has had a roller coaster of a career. Extending, you know, hitting that extension point and then hitting a major roadblock, going back, hitting another major roadblock. So now we're here where he's now a, a welterweight. He's fighting another guy who's another former 140 pounder uh, and he's been a welterweight for a couple years now. Has fought Marcos Maidana as well. And it, it, it's really, I guess, it, like I said, it, it's. It's a situation now where I think if he does win this fight, meaning uh, Amir Khan, I think he is going to get the Floyd Mayweather fight because I think Floyd Mayweather at this point is just out of opponents. And Amir Khan, more so than really any fighter uh, outside of Manny Pacquiao, is probably the only guy that has some fan base and, and at least a country, even though the country he's from has a major allegiance to Floyd Mayweather. Uh, it's probably the best sell that they can that they can make, but it's not saying a lot. Uh, I think for the fight itself, though, I mean, not even thinking about Floyd Mayweather yet. Uh, Amir Khan and Devin Alexander is a fight that I think boxing fans aren't running to the hills to see, but it still poses as an interesting fight for both guys because we've only seen Amir Khan once at welterweight, at legitimately welterweight, fighting Luis Collazo and. To be honest, he looked, you know, he looked better than he did in, in his previous fights. I mean, was 140 a little too much for him to make? You know, as far as, you know, was he cutting too much, meaning Amir Khan? And uh, he did get clipped by Collazo in, in the fight, you know, in, in some instances, but he seemed to take the shots better because the Achilles heel <laughs> with Amir Khan has always been his chin. When you look beyond that, I mean, the guy is... Some people say he's the fastest guy uh, in boxing as far as having the fastest hands. Hasn't really uh, shown power at 147. I mean, we, we, it's still yet to be proven. Not him working with Virgil Hunter. Is is, is this going to be a deal where he's going to he's gonna be able to improve in Khan's overall skill set? Because I think with Khan, you know, the, the offense is there. I mean, the guy's really fast, has great combinations, but, you know, when you press him and you push him back, he tends to get into a bit of trouble. Now, with Virgil Hunter, it's tough for me to really say that I've seen a huge improvement in Amir Khan with Virgil Hunter, because sometimes if switching fighter, switching trainers, it could go good or it could go bad or nothing could change at all. And as far as I've seen, it... It's still tough to tell. I still see a lot of tendencies that Amir Khan still has that are uh, uh, benefits to him, but he's also not been put in a situation under the tutelage of uh, Virgil Hunter where you know he's been in trouble and he's had to get out of it. So in, in a situation with uh, with with a Devin Alexander, a guy who brings a completely different skill set, is a really good boxer, and and the in what I've seen in the later stages, that you know, the last couple of fights, he's been a lot more aggressive, and I think that's the strategy he's got to use against uh, Amir Khan because I I think Amir Khan is faster than Devin Alexander. We could question the punching power. We don't really know. I mean, that that's really a question mark there uh, for both guys and. And, and I think it's a question mark as far as their chins are concerned. I mean, we've seen Devin Alexander get hit, and he's been in there with guys who can crack somewhat, but he's never been uh, necessarily hurt to the point where you're like, oh, he, he, he's going out. Amir Khan, we could say that several times. And even against puncher or, or fighters who you didn't think would, would, would hurt him like as bad as he did get hurt. So, you know, when I think of both of these guys... And I match them up. Um, I, you know, some people are gonna jump really quick to to 
jump on on Devin Alexander to pull off what some may think is not even an upset at all, but I'm still like I'm still leaning towards Khan in this fight, and I think even at welterweight, I I, I really do think that Khan's gonna be a little stronger. I mean, and I think I've seen bits of it in the Koyazo fight, but I think he's gonna be more durable at, at 147, and I think the speed factor. For even Devin Alexander, I don't think he's seen that in quite a while. Khan offensively has more of a variety. And again, the, the reason I make the mention of the power between both guys is because I think it's going to take Devin Alexander to be very aggressive and him to have some pop. And I, I don't think I don't know if at welterweight he really has that. And and I think boxing wise, and if Khan is just able to to keep you know keep that distance and and he's able to. Um, not let Devin make it a, a, an ugly fight and, and, and let, in a sense, Khan just get his combinations off. I think he'll win points with the judges in that manner. You know, I, I don't see this being a very eventful fight, to be honest with you. And I think that's why I may, some of the boxing fans maybe are... They don't really care so much, but I guess what I've seen is like half of the fans are looking at it like, alright, well, Khan's gonna just be Floyd's next opponent, and some people are hoping for a monkey wrench to be thrown in that Devin uh, Alexander wins the fight, because a lot of people believe that if Devin wins, that Floyd's not gonna pick Devin just because he beat uh, Amir Khan, because that's just a tough sell, uh, any way you put it, and again, based on a previous video I made, Floyd versus Alexander is not going to compete against uh, uh, Cotto Canelo. So, in no way, shape, or form. But, uh, as far as Khan and Alexander are concerned, man, I, I, I'm not going to side with Khan in this, man. I've never considered Devin Alexander a slick boxer. I mean, I think he's just a very good, uh, a fundamentally sound boxer. You know, I, I, I don't think he has exceptions in any department that I'll say wow like he's you know I'll put him over a, a lot of guys in this department he he's just good in a lot of different departments where I see Khan has the speed factor and, and uh, footwork I think he still makes mistakes in that department which is why like I said I think for Devin to have success he has to push the fight so I just I see this being a tactical fight and I see Khan just being maybe the more active one and, and him landing the, the, the flashier shots in a fight that I don't think is going to be very eventful. So I'm going with with uh, Amir Khan by a close unanimous decision or maybe a majority decision. Uh, and like I said, I think if Khan wins this fight, I think he's the obvious choice for Floyd Mayweather in May be it Cinco de Mayo or later in May, who knows. So let me know what you think of the fight. I have con by decision, so as I always say, subscribe, hit the links, and I'll be back with you soon. Peace.